In part two of four, learn about AP Invoice Edits, User Activity Report, and Twilio Email Configuration. The first enhancement in this video is about editing accounts payable invoices. There's already a feature that allows certain users to edit an AP invoice, but the information the user can change is limited. The biggest obstacle to edit an invoice is whether the invoice is paid. If you open a paid invoice, then review the payments, you can drill down into the check details. Here you can see the amount is different than the invoice because other invoices were paid with this check. Previously, you would void the check and have to reprocess all those payments. With this release, additional fields of information can be changed. When you double-click in the invoice, you get a message that you are attempting to edit a posted transaction. The remainder of the message is different than you saw previously. Job cost and general ledger are being voided and replaced. The invoice is just being edited, so you can now edit a paid invoice. In this example, the original invoice amount is $101.15. Let's say the amount should actually be 105. This is what happens. The program voids the first record in GL and replaces it with an entry for $105. The program voids the job cost entry and replaces it with the new cost amount. On this payable invoice record, the status changes to open and the balance becomes $3.85. Because the original $101.15 was paid, and now there's an additional $385 owed as a result of the new amount. If the new amount was lower than the original, the net becomes a credit for the vendor. The original payment is unchanged. In the header information, you can change the vendor if there are no payments on the invoice. If you try to change the accounting period, you are limited to future periods prior to the period on the first payment. We'll save the record and recall it to view how the program reflects these changes in the record history. Open View Record History. You see the record activity, and if you double-click to open the details, you see the old and new values for the record. Note the link number changes when you edit the records. If you open Options, View Related Transactions, you can see the ledger transactions related to the modifications you made. Use the Drill Down option on each entry to see the void status on those original entries, including the job costs if there were any. One caveat is if the job costs were already used in a T&M billing, you would not be able to modify the costs for that invoice. A second caveat is if the invoice includes a purchase order or subcontract, you cannot change the vendor or job. Now we'll discuss a feature that came from product enhancement requests. Customers want to see what the user has done in the program, like a user audit. This comes in the form of a report. In the Utilities menu, there is a new option for User Activity Report. You do need to be a company administrator and payroll administrator to access this report. In the User Activity Report window, select the user for which you want to view activity. Provide a date range as narrow or broad as you like. For the initial look at the report, we'll clear the box to show only sections with activity. Then click Display Report. The program reviews the same history that you could review in different software tasks in the View Record History option with a focus on accounting areas like, accounting areas like general ledger, payroll, receivables, and payables. The list displays sections with categories like entered, modified, and either deleted or voided. Because the box at the top is clear, you can see all of the areas the program reviews for the report. You see in the Receivable Invoices Credits section, there is a 3 next to the Modified category. Click the arrow to expand and show the grid of records. 
either double click to drill into the record or click on the record and click go to record or click view change. If we scroll down in the user activity report, you see there were job modifications. If we expand the category, you see the jobs with modification and you can click to select and drill down into the job, then go to view history or whatever else you want to do from here. One important note about what you see in this report is when a record changes as a result of another activity, you do not see the activities in every section. The activity displays in the most pertinent area. For example, if you modify a vendor to add a contact, the program filters the activity to show as an add in the vendor's contact section and not as a vendor modification. This report mainly enables the admin to see at a high level where users are in the software and what types of activities are done. Each edit displays as a separate row. Let's say a user opens a vendor and changes something, then goes back in and changes it again. You end up with two entries for that vendor. To generate with different criteria, click New Report, modify the filters, and click Display Report again. Next, in the past, you may have experienced issues because your email provider made changes, such as security changes, that cause the email integration to no longer work properly in the software. The program now supports an email configuration for Twilio. Twilio is a third-party email server system. Unlike Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook, Twilio keeps security behind the scenes consistent. Go to Twilio.com to create an account. The free account allows up to a certain number of emails a day. Then for a fee, you can get up to a certain number of emails a day. The information you need for the configuration is part of what you get in the account setup. In Utilities and Company Information, on the Email Configuration tab, use the Sender ID and Authorization Code from your setup in the Twilio boxes. Identify the default sender name and reply to mail for tasks. When you email something, such as the job list, you also see in the email settings the new Twilio configuration section. Here, you can choose a different from name and email address for the reply to settings. These settings are stored for each user that logs into the program. If you have had issues with email, you might want to try this out and see if it works for you. The main difference in the options is you cannot get a read receipt for the message, but Twilio automatically creates a copy for your from inbox. There is no actual inbox or sent mails box for Twilio. You still have your normal provider, but the program uses Twilio for the send email process. Continue to Part 3 of 4 to learn more about new enhancements and features in version 24.1.